The Animal Storm is starting, spitting out creatures here and there and closing out the game with big beaters. This deck is a lots of fast paced fun. If you enjoy storming off and leaving your opponents behind in the dust, then this deck is for you. You may have heard of this deck's commander before. Animar is known for being an extremely powerful commander and going near infinite with enough morphs. But this deck doesn't aim to spit out eensy weensy morphs, but rather huge threats. Let's start with ramp. Ramp is very important as Animar can only reduce colourless mana, so you want a lot of coloured mana to pay for lots of creatures in one turn. We have things like Exploration and Azusa Lost Bit Seeking for Ramp, as we will be drawing lots of cards, more on that later. We also have lots of one mana dorks like Glamour Elves, Elvish Mystic and Arbor Elf, because they pay for themselves with Anima and also net mana with Tomorrow Ascendancy, which incidentally draws us cards when we play our big beaters. Beast Caller Savant is also great in this deck, as it gets us any type of mana on the turn we play it. Anima can also tap for mana with Rishkar Pima Renegade, now we get to one of the key pieces of this storm, card draw. The way we draw cards is from playing creatures, either having them or playing them. A few ways we draw cards from playing creatures are Soul of the Harvest, Beast Whisperer and Garak's Pack Leader. Then we have a few spells that will draw us tons of cards, like Return of the Wild Speaker, Rishkar's Expertise and Gadwick the Wizened. This is a key part of the deck, as we can't keep storming off if we don't have any creatures to cast. We also have a few deck yourself win cons, just in case, such as Thassa's Oracle, Jace Wielder of Mysteries, and the OG Laboratory Mania. After that, we have the Payoffs. These are the huge creatures that we will win the game with. We have Galta, Primal Hunger, and if this doesn't always cost 2 green, then you aren't using it right. A 2 mana 12 12 Trampler is potent. Then we have Voronikux, Voice of Hunger, which can really effectively lock your opponents out of the game, while also doubling your mana and being a big beater. We also have Scourge of the Throne to get those extra combat steps and swing in for a heap of damage. Then there's Nyx Bloom Ancient, a newer one from Theros Beyond Death, which triples our mana. Then there's Omnath, Locus of Rage, who spits out elementals, heal huge beaters in themselves, and deal damage when they die. And finally, we get to the Wind Cons. First up is a classic, Cyclonic Rift. This is usually used as a board wipe and can be used that way, but we also use this to get rid of people's blockers and swing in to win. We also have Triumph of the Hordes, to basically set your opponent's life total to 10 for a turn. Also there's the fact that we're a huge creature deck, we're churning out big creatures, they can easily win this, the game. And yeah, that's the deck, uh, I hope you enjoy, um, yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, do all that jazz, um, but mainly we just do this um, for your enjoyment. Yeah, uh, so hope you keep watching.